I wanted to make this quick video that uh, highlighted a problem you can encounter on some of these older stereo systems. I got this uh, stereo system off of eBay recently and uh, great price in, in my opinion. I uh, paid about 60 bucks for it. I think that included free shipping. So um, fantastic system. It was uh, really super clean. Everything seemed to work. The shipping was awesome. Whoever sold it really you know took their um, their business seriously so anyway very happy with it got t hooked up to a test uh, Bluetooth speaker here with an auxiliary input on it um, and everything's been good well I haven't tested the record player yet but the one thing that came up was the uh, cassette player would not play and I thought well you know uh, the belts must be bad so I picked up these belts here from China you know a bunch of belts uh, but then when I got into it, swing around here, what I realized was what had happened was, I don't know if you can really see this here, but there's um, a flywheel spinning here. That's what helps it keep in, you know, a steady, smooth pace of playing a cassette without a bunch of fluttery uh, noise. Kind of would make it sound garbly if you didn't have that. But anyway, uh... What I noticed was this, I wouldn't have had the right belt anyway, but this belt was in perfect condition, but it had, had just slid off. Uh, maybe it was due to shipping, maybe it's because it sat for you know a number of years, and in that time, uh, perhaps, uh, it had maybe stiffened a little bit in its position, and when the first time it was played, it may have kicked it off. But if you can see up in there, um, it sits on uh, that little drive spindle up in there. I'll try to zoom in up in there. So it sits on that and that's what turns this flywheel. And uh, anyway, it had just come off. That's all it was. So I kind of worked it back on and you know spun around and got it going again and to my surprise I mean the belt's in really good condition. It's still very flexible uh, and it, can, it still worked. The music plays fantastic. I'll play just a brief bit of the music it's copyrighted music so don't want to get my channel banned or anything but uh it's very very smooth so real smooth playback um i'm very happy with this you know for any anybody who's into older nostalgic um electronics and things like that uh, I've found over the years that for some reason Yorks is just an overlooked brand. I know it was never really highly regarded, high re highly respected brand. But I mean, although it may have never been a Sony or a Panasonic or you know one of the you know high end other brands that uh, you know were out there during the 70s and 80s, especially the 80s. Um, that you know some of their early stuff isn't really that bad. Uh, you know I had a Yorks back in the 80s. Um, and uh, that thing was a great system um, I, in fact I got it uh, from a dump of course we were real poor when I was a kid so going to the dump was a, like going to the mall for most people and I found it brought it back and uh, rewired it somebody had chopped up the wiring inside I think they just took the wiring to use for something else anyway I rewired it and uh, got it working and I used that for years well, I've always had an affinity for Yorks ever since, just because of my experience at that time. But, um, but also I found that you know, like this one here. I mean, it's it's fantastic. Look at its age. I mean, obviously it was well cared for, but or just stored. But it still works just absolutely great. And some of the features it has to get some of these cool effects, like the the little LEDs uh, and things like that, that that respond to the music. If you try to find that on other brand, you know, more well-known or popular brand stereos in the area, you paid like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I've seen some of them even over a thousand dollars to try to find something with all the features this has. Um, the cool, I mean, it, it's cool and it's gaudy at the same time, but the lighting is just so cool. It's so reminiscent of that era. Uh, there's bulbs everywhere on this thing. So, um, just uh, a little note there. I was working on this and I figured this might be a candidate for uploading to my channel haven't put anything up in a long long time and really it's largely due to time I mean my work has changed in nature over the years and just gotten to where uh, it's harder to even do these kind of projects much, much less take the time to make videos and upload them and 
that kind of thing. But realistically, these days with a cell phone in your pocket at all times, it, it's not too bad to uh, take a quick video and upload it. So that's what this is. Uh, if you guys have any interest in, you know, more videos along these lines, you know, let me know. I'll be glad to upload them whenever I work on these types of systems. I I do all kinds of different things, you know, sometimes I work on uh, old arcade machines, sometimes I work on new arcade machines. Um, I really love the aesthetic of this era, so much so that I even, if you can look in the background, you know, you see, <laughs> you'll see the, uh, the walls uh, with the wood grain, wood paneling. I've really gone all in. I mean, we used to live in a new house with all the new stuff and sheetrock and, and for 10 years and I just hated it. Um, it just, it, it, it never felt like home. So several years ago we bought uh, this older house and I just, I love it. The quality is so much different from back in that era. Um, but anyway, so I really enjoy working on older equipment and, and things, you know, from the really the any time 50s 60s 70s 80s i really think the quality of everything just started to just fall apart during the 90s and onward so but anyway um that's it for this video if you guys have any uh interest you know like the video uh, or subscribe to the channel you know leave some comments let me know if you're interested in this type of thing for the future uh otherwise have a great day see you soon